let's take a close look at the relationship between acceleration due to gravity and wind resistance. Here's the plane. Look how far the skydiver has fallen in a mere five seconds. Let's start over and look at this step by step. She jumps. What's her acceleration? Assume the upward wind resistance is zero because she's not yet falling, and the acceleration is about 10 meters per second squared, which is the full acceleration due to gravity. But as she falls faster, the wind resistance pushes her upward. Look closely at her face. You'll see her cheeks are in fact being pushed upward. This is in the opposite direction of her weight, so the net force decreases, and so does her acceleration, which means she's picking up speed not quite as quickly, but she's still picking up speed. Soon, she gets to falling so fast that the upward wind resistance matches her downward weight, so there's no net force, which means no acceleration. What? No acceleration? Does that mean she's no longer falling? Absolutely not. Look, again, she's definitely falling. What it means is that she's no longer picking up speed. That's what we call terminal velocity. Question. What would happen to her speed if she straightened up like a pencil? Do you see that the wind resistance would become less? She would start to accelerate and as she accelerated, she'd be falling faster. What then happens to her wind resistance? That's right. It'll increase on up to the point it once again matches her downward weight. She would reach a new terminal velocity, but one where she's falling much faster. So do you see why skydivers typically fall flat? That's to maximize their wind resistance, which depends upon surface area. The result is a slower terminal velocity, which means they can enjoy the experience for as long as possible. But, uh-oh, uh -oh, you're still falling pretty fast at a terminal velocity of about 120 miles per hour. You don't want to hit the ground at 120 miles per hour. Solution, you need to increase your wind resistance big time. That's the role of the parachute. Out it goes, and your wind resistance quickly exceeds your weight, and your acceleration is negative. Does that mean you head back up to the airplane? No, it simply means you're slowing down. You're decelerating from, say, 120 miles per hour to a gentler, mm, less than 5 miles per hour for a soft landing. Good energy. Mm -hmm.